What's up everybody, Higgsbo here bringing you today another video and I've seen some of the things you guys have said before, you, some of you guys want me to compare the crossbow to the uh, compound bow that I have previously uh, played for so long with and uh, some of you guys have been making claims as to the bolts on the crossbow do not vary on drop you know the it doesn't it doesn't drop depending on which um, grain of arrow you're using and this is something that um, I kind of noticed a little bit um, but nothing nothing too crazy is probably why I didn't emphasize on it too much but we're gonna go ahead and give this like a test right now and uh, pretty much confirm or debunk this myth that um, that we're pretty much telling so we're gonna do we're gonna do 30 meter shots okay we're gonna do 30 meter shots I think this is pretty good we're gonna start off with the 300 grain arrows which is basically for small game or vermins so we're gonna get the 300 uh, uh, grain bolts and we're gonna shoot to the bottom of this thing right here so let's see all right so there you have it that's one with the 300 grain Here you have it same place same area and we're gonna do one more Here you have it so three of those and we're gonna go ahead and switch ammo now we're gonna go straight into the 420 grain and we're gonna see how that one does that one performs and we're gonna shoot at the same place Alright, so that seemed to be fairly equal, fairly the same. Again, very similar to the 300 grain. Very, very similar. One more. and three consecutive shots now we're gonna switch to the 600 grain which in my previous video when I was doing for the compound bow the 600 grain arrow had huge huge differences in drop rate I mean the 600 grain arrow dropped a lot quicker and it also makes sense because it's a heavier arrow now let's see if that translates the same to the compound bow or to the crossbow sorry And as you guys can see, it does drop. It does drop quite a bit. So, and it's hitting right pretty low. So, we're going to move back regardless. We're going to go all the way to like 60 meters just to, you know, make sure that we're getting some good readings. But as of what I could see at 30 meters, it's, there's definitely a drop. one more we're gonna do one more and then we're gonna move in to try to check it out all right now let's go and move in to see exactly what it is that we did all right so here's here's pretty much what I got now as you guys could tell the drop is very very significant with the 600 grain one oddly Oddly enough, the 300 grain arrow actually dropped a bit more than the 400 grain arrow. But the 600 grain arrow, as you guys can see, did drop quite a bit. Now we're going to repeat this exact same test, but at, at like an outrageous, you know, outrageous uh, distance, like 60 meters, to see very profoundly the drop if there's, if there's any uh, drop, because this, this could very well be a variation of my of my aiming you know there's no clear way of, of knowing this this is why I shot three arrows of three types you know three different times so we're gonna move back we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna go this way we're gonna go this way and we're just pretty much gonna measure 30, 60 uh, meters and we're gonna try to do the same thing All right and this is gonna be our target right there 
that big block right there. So let's see. Man, this is gonna be crazy. Okay, so let's move this way. And that's 60 meters right there. Alright, 60 meters. Now we're going to try the same thing again. Same test. 300 green arrows. And we're going to see just how well we do with it. Okay. Let's see. I got to be on my A game here because I'm being judged by you guys. So. <clears throat> okay, so. 300 green arrow hit there. And I was aiming with this, so. Okay, so it's quite quite a difference. So this is 60, 60 meters, and with 300 green arrow, it hit on the middle, on the middle, um, on the middle one. So okay, so we're gonna adjust to that. All right, there you go. So at 60 meters, 300 green, we're shooting with the metal pin. There you go, that's two shots. We're gonna do one more. There you go, all right, now we're gonna switch. Now we're gonna go 420. And we're gonna try this again. I gotta see where is it that I hit with the 420. All right, 420's middle pin as well. Alright. Alright, you guys can already see that there's there's a difference there, obviously. We're gonna do one more just for good for good measure. Alright, now we're going to go into the 600 grain. And I have a feeling that this is going to show very profound uh, results. There you go. That should be that should be enough. It hit the ground. So it went way, way down. So based on my calculations, I'm going to aim with the bottom pin. And with the bottom pin, we're still hitting low. So it does drop quite a bit, guys. It drops quite a bit. We're going to do one more, and then we're going to go in just to see the results. Now keep in mind, I'm aiming with the bottom pin, with the third pin for this uh, for this one, because the pin that we were using before, the the second pin or the middle pin with the 600 grain arrows was actually making my arrows hit the ground. So just want to point that out. Let's go ahead and move in. All right, so here we go. So, metal pin, okay, for the 300 grain bolt was pretty much spot on. For the uh, 420 grain, that's where it hit. And then for the 600 grain, I actually had to go one pin lower in order to be able to hit in the same, same place, pretty much. So, yes, there is a drop. And uh, on the compound bow... I felt like the drop of the 420 green was barely noticeable. Barely noticeable. Here, you guys can see that it's a bit more profound, okay? Well, I was aiming for the same location for right there, that middle, middle of the log. For the 300 green, we got it. We got that part down. For the 420, that's where, that's where it dropped. It dropped the... Uh, 
I would say uh, I, I would say a good a good foot down and then for the 600 grain I had to go a pin lower and it still went down like a foot a foot and a quarter a foot and a half more or less so hopefully that part of this video answered your you guys uh questions about this if there's any drop there is a drop um i'm using a different skill for this for this uh time period i'm using the uh the call the deer call which makes the deer stand still for a short period of time before they take off but um if i switch skills okay if i switch skills to this one or to this one actually you guys can see that my thing is preset to 30 meters. So that means that my first pin is going to hit at 30 meters. Now I could change this. I can go to 10. And then obviously it, it, would, it would change as, as you go farther and farther away. But pretty much this is what you're looking at. And this would be... 32 meters. My calculations are correct. That 30 meter mark is probably going to be the third, the third pin. But let's go ahead and try it out. We're going to aim here, and it hits down there. So, pretty much third pin. So we're going to reload, and I'm going to get the third pin, put it where I want to shoot it, and. You guys are going to see that it's going to hit exactly where I'm aiming. There you go. Maybe a tiny bit uh, above the third pin, but very close to the third pin. So. So, yeah. Between the third pin and the second pin. At this, at this um, meter rating. Now, if you go to 50, that means... This is big boy range right here. That means the first one is 50. So in order to hit there, I would say I would I would shoot there, and there you go. And then obviously that means that I'm not 50 meters away, but as you get further and further away, this is to shoot long distances. Um, I I I I wouldn't use this like I I wouldn't use this at all because it's very hard. You to keep track of what these three pins, the preset, mean when you're constantly changing the zero on your scope. So, what I do is, I would probably leave it at 30. And then at 30, the bottom one would be... Right, so, we're at... Right now... It's 30. I saw 30. Ammo. Let's go 420. So 420, 30. Dead on. There you go. Now we're going to move back to like maybe 40. Alright. This is, this is a, this is deep so we're gonna go uphill and we're gonna see where it hits afterwards so this is 38 All right, so we're at 40 right now we're gonna aim with the same first pin okay so it pretty much hits right above the secondary pin so it hits right above the secondary pin I would argue that it hits between the first and the second pin now we're gonna move a little bit farther back we're gonna do 45 now All right, 45. There we go. As close as we can get is 45. And we're going to aim with the first pin. 
All right, so yeah, so pretty much second pin is 45. If you have the this preset right here, this 30 meters preset, second pin is going to be 45. And then I want to see how far back I I would go for the uh, third pin. So this is 60. This is 60. And I'm going to aim with this pin. All right, so Okay, so in between the second and third. So I'm pretty sure if I move to 65, that that would give it that that would give it that margin. 65, 60. All right, there you go. 65.3. All right, so let's aim with the third pin. Ah, oh, gotta reload. All right, so all right, hold on, it's my heart rate's through the roof now. There you go, calm down, calm down, buddy. All right, all right, so there it still hit high. So I would probably say seventy, maybe. Seventy, perhaps. All right. Yeah, pretty much seventy. So third pin would be seventy. Second pin would be forty-five. First pin would be obviously thirty. Did you have a thirty-meter preset? This is with four twenty grain. So this is with 420 grain. With a uh, 600 grain, it, I'm pretty sure it's going to be something completely different. So let's check that out now. Ammo, 600 grain. And I already know this is going to be completely different, guys. So we're going to do the same test. Same test again, 30, and then, you know, move back as as we have to, okay? So we're going to do this one right here. There we go. 30. Okay. So at 30. Even at 30. It's hitting low. So. Even at 30. is hitting below its mark. Into the middle. And it went down a bit so we're gonna move back and we're gonna see where do we have to go to get to the other points I'm gonna do 45 at 4501 I'm gonna aim with the same thing first And at 45, we're hitting at the third, at the third, um, I'm doing it again. I'm just going to do it again. Just, you know, so I'm going to aim here with the first pin and look where it's hitting. So aiming here, aiming right above third pin. So this is. All right. So this is. 45 that means I probably think that at 50 would be the maximum you could shoot with this type of arrow all right so at 50 aiming for the first pin and it's hitting right at the third third mark so yeah 50 would be your maximum with this preset. Yeah. 
yeah, so 50 is your maximum preset or your maximum uh, range with this type of preset. What I mean by preset is the following, okay? If you press F, you cycle through your presets. You got 10 meters, 50 meters, 30 meters. If I leave it at 30 meters and I switch skills, the bow would adopt. It will adapt to that last preset that I set it at. Again, reloading. God. The bow will adapt to that specific last preset. Or at least that's how it was, unless they patched it. That's that's a different story. We're going to see it now. Alright, so. Aiming same location. There you go. Same thing. So. Depending on which preset you leave it, that's where your pins are going to land, depending on which arrow you're using. So I left it at 30 meters because that's that's a pretty good um, pretty good range. That's a pretty good uh, average range. Um, remember, we have a scope on this that we can zoom in and out. So it's very versatile when it comes to that. So 30 meters, I think, for me, is it's very, it's very good. So... This is at 53 meters. Let's see if we can ding it. There you go. So, 50 meters is pretty much your range with the 60 grain arrow. Um, I know this is going to sound uh, tedious, but you got to get... You know, you got to get familiar with this thing. You got to get uh, in touch with uh, the weapon of your choice, which arrows you're... If you're going to use the compound bow, you need to become proficient with the compound bow. I've been using the compound bow um, since I started playing the game, so I'm very proficient with it. This crossbow isn't really that much difference. It's a lot easier to play uh, with this compound bow than it is uh, with this uh, crossbow than it is to the, with a compound bow. Because you have a scope, a zoomable scope. So it becomes a lot easier to play with this uh, specific um, new weapon. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. We discussed, we discussed a zeroing. We discussed a uh, arrow drop. There is an arrow drop, just like there is in the compound bow. So that myth that there is no arrow drop, that's, that's false. There is a drop. You guys saw it here. We discussed presets. Um, hope you guys understood what those presets are, uh, are. If not, just leave a comment below. I'll be uh, happy to explain it to you. Um, we did also discussed range. We discussed different arrows. And uh, we discussed the sight pictures that you guys are supposed to have. Which each uh, independent uh, arrow. So. I didn't touch too much on the 300 green one because if that's your thing, if you want to hunt small game animals with 300 green, um, then that's great. That's your thing. But uh, it's not mine. I think it's fairly boring to hunt a uh, small game with a 300 green arrow. I mean, at that point, you have a 22 long rifle now that you can use and you have a 223. So uh, if you want to hunt a small game with 300 green arrow, you can go ahead and do so. I don't find the pleasure in that, but if that's your thing, then by all means. That being said, guys, hope this video about the crossbow helped you guys out. If it did, remember to leave that like. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And as always, this has been Higgsbow. I'll see you guys next time.